Salam, I'm Meera Nair and I'm here to answer burning questions on IMDb. Which are your three favorite movies of all time? I would say is Guru Dutt's Piasa. I think at this point Munna Bhai MBBS and another film I have to see every time is Fellini's Eight and a Half. What inspires you the most at this stage of your career? What inspires me most at this stage is resistance and the ability to speak out, the ability to speak truth to power and it's a terrible world. So either you speak now and in staying silent you go with the world. So in movies, in cinema, in theatre, in art is our chance to speak out. What have you learned about yourself this year that has surprised you? Well, this year I have learned that creative energy is not limitless, that you have to be ruthless about your creative energy, you have to be conservative, you have to conserve your energy and you have to really make your art matter. Can you tell us a little bit about your upcoming project? Well, I have two films that I'm making in the next two years. One is called Amri, which is on Amrita Shergill, the great radical modernist Indian painter. And uh, also a film called Bro, which is a study really of a high and low and, and conflict and revenge in contemporary India. What is the nicest compliment you have received for your movie? Well, the only film that I wished I had directed is a film by Gilles Pontecorvo called Battle of Algiers. And uh, when I uh, showed my film The Reluctant Fundamentalist in the Venice Film Festival uh, as the opening night film, I had this wonderful older woman who came up to me and looked at this film and said to me that my husband Gilles Pontecorvo lives inside you. And that was the widow of Gilles Pontecorvo. I even get goosebumps now thinking about that because it was a great tribute because a film like his Battle of Algiers a film about revolution, a film about the humanity and a film about the great shades of humanity that require freedom as he did in B Battle of Algiers. That's the kind of film and that's the kind of art I wanted to make and it was a great tribute to know that, you know, his widow thought that he was alive in me. One performance that you saw recently that blew your mind. I see a lot of beautiful work, so it's hard to distinguish one. But I saw the film by Michael Mann called Ferrari and the extraordinary performance by Penelope Cruz definitely blew my mind in its nuance and in its passion and in the ability to, you know, really transcend borders with her work. Which person from the world of movies, living or dead, would you want to grab a drink with? And why? A person from the world of movies would be uh, Guru Dutt that I would love to know. I'd love to have known him and I'm sure we could have had several drinks together. But mostly, you know, to know the loneliness of making art and the fervor one needs to have the conviction in doing what we have to do. Which is your favorite Indian movie of 2023? and favourite Indian acting performance of 2023? Well, I think my favourite Indian uh, experience of 2023 would be Kora, uh, the series I saw on Netflix about Punjab. I thought it was a remarkable unfolding of a city in today's India and I admired it deeply. Yes.